I got a Heath Kid Hero 1 robot. Yeah, but it's Snow Hero 2000. Ooh. Well, it has been a really long time since we've done anything with Little Hero Robot here. And um, I thought we'd like, we would get into a little bit of programming today with the, uh, the basic that's installed on him. Um, and that is the Hero 1 basic. And I have some information on that. Um, on some earlier videos I did when installing the basic system onto Hero, and which makes them a little bit more usable. A little bit. <laughs> Actually, it makes them a lot more usable. Uh, and I got that off of uh, from Robert at uh, robotworkshop.com and I'll put the link at the bottom of the video in the description. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to um, write a little program in basic and I mean little uh, so what we'll do is we'll just have him say a few things and move his head around and eh, basic stuff right uh, but big stuff when you're thinking about program this old bugger right <laughs> um, well to to start this you'll get I guess you'll need a couple tools um, of course you'll need to install the basic upgrade the hero one basic oh and uh, you'll need some sort of interface, uh, serial interface. In this case, um, I got this from, you know, uh, the uh, robotworkshop.com from Robert, Robert there. Where he, I have a USB interface on him, high technology, and I got a video about that, and uh, we'll we will go over that. Uh, but first, let's uh, turn this camera around and show you the computer. And yes, I'm using a Macintosh. <laughs> a Macintosh that can also run Windows XP <laughs> and of course that's so we can run Hyper Terminal or in this case uh, TerraTerm so okay uh, so let's get started here uh, so I, got, I plug the USB cable into the USB interface on Hero Ta -da! let's turn Hero on already already got a little pop up here um, I'm going to connect to Windows, obviously. Um, now it sees the USB driver because when you power up Hero, it powers up the board. Um, uh, they have us open here, so let's uh, okay, let's reopen Terra Terminal. There she is, and uh, or Terra Term, I should say. I like using Terra Term. You could always use, also use Hyper Terminal. Uh, it's freeware. Google search Terra Term, you'll find it. Uh, anyways, so a serial connection. And there it is, USB serial port. Okay, and here we go. Um, so now what we're going to do is we have to actually set this up so TerraTerm can read and write the data to Hero. Uh, so we'll go to setup, set up your serial port, uh, 1.45, 9600. You can change the baud rates on here. The default is 9600. We'll use that. You gotta change the seven bit data, not eight, one stop bit. And I like to give it a, um, a little bit of delay. Depending on the speed of your computer, you get to play with this. Uh, it mentions in the manual for the USB interface uh, to have a 50 millisecond per line. And that's just so, because your computer can probably send it faster than can hear it, can eat it. So, a slow down a bit. So I usually do. 10 and 50 and you can play with that a little bit um, and if it if it's if it starts missing data you of course want to slow it down um, but it sends a barrage of data there's no like that's what you call flow control there's no feedback telling it that it maybe didn't receive it it's just it's a train and it's rolling sometimes you go to errors and you have to try it again but hey we got it okay so we are ready to do stuff. Uh, what I like to do is I open up Notepad. I open up Notepad right here. And when I write my programs, I write them in Notepad and copy and paste them over. Uh, I like doing that because when you write them in Notepad, you can save them and you can upload them later. Yeah? It's kind of like your little scratch pad you're working on. And you only use the stuff that you kind of keep going and adjusting it, see what works, see what doesn't work. Um, but anyways, long story short, let's start using the basic. Okay, 
if you don't have the instruction manual for BASIC, contact um, the robotworkshop.com, Robert over there. I'm sure will help you out. To get BASIC running, we're going to do a command. It's called a cold start. Uh, we got them powered up. And we're going to do 1D on hero. Da -da -da. So 1D A. Zero, 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 zero. And that gets his basic running. His basic is now running. <laughs> uh, and as you can see on the screen there, you see the WinTech Hero 1 basic version of 0 0.5. Uh, um, so for this program, like I said, we're going to have him say something and move his head. And I don't want him rolling off the desk onto the floor, so we're not going to actually move his main drive motors. But old hero here, everything's working on him, believe it or not. Uh, and for this, since he's going to speak, I got the voice dictionary. <laughs> uh, when I found him, he came with everything, so I, I kind of lucked out. Uh, but if you need his voice dictionary, call Robert <laughs> or email him. Uh, and I'm sure he can probably hook you up with this. Um, the reason why I like this is because you can call phrases that are just already built into him and uh, rather than trying to phonetically write everything out in code which you can most certainly do and I've done it's, it's tedious but can be done we're just going to cheat and use stuff that's already built into him like hello my name is Hero and I'm the educational robot uh, so he's already got like a pile of phrases he can already say by just calling a simple four digit hexadecimal command <laughs> Um, so that's kind of cool. So we'll do that. So we'll say, we'll have Hero say something, turn his head a little bit, and then say something again, and then call it a day, and just say, hey, this is simple programming for Hero, right? So we'll go to our screen here. Uh, as you can see, we are now in TerraTerm or HyperTerminal, and we can have him actually do stuff here. So Let's do this thing here uh, where we're going to tell him to speak. And we're going to in tell him to do a phrase. And we're going to tell him to say, hello, my name is Hero. And according to the voice dictionary, for him to say that, we need the address F4, or I'm sorry, FA4B. And then he'll say that. So we go to the screen here. We will type a command called speak, uh, S-P-E-A-K. And then I'm going to put a dollar sign there. Um, I'm not sure what that's for exactly. I think it's to call up. It's telling it to call up from its memory. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know you got to have it there. <laughs> and so we're going to do F A. You know what? It's good to have your caps lock on, right? F A B. Or I'm sorry, four B. Now if we hit enter here. Hello, my name is Hero. Okay. Hello, my name is Hero. So what I'm doing here is I'm just telling it to do stuff. Um, if I type list, you can see there's nothing there because I haven't actually programmed anything. I'm just telling him to do something. That is really cool because you can send a bunch of commands to him in that, in that manner. When you write a program, you're going to put 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, the old school basic. But for now, I'm just having him do stuff. Um, so you can do a lot of experimenting with him in that respect. So now we know how to make him talk. Uh, so let's uh, let's just put on our on our code here. Uh, so I'm gonna put 10. Oops. And 10, let's say, is REM, which is remark. Oops. REM, which is remark. Uh, this. Oops. Let's see, this is our first little program. Oops. And REM means you're just making a remark. It's not actually going to do anything. So 20, we're going to say S-P-E-A-K, spank, <laughs> speak. And that was what? Dollar sign F-A-4-B. There you go, F-A-4-B. And of course, we'll have a 30. Um, so let's see what else we can say. Hello, my name is Hero. You know what? I like this one better. It's FA64. FA64. He could say a little bit more. FA64. 
six four will change that. Um, and you want to find out what that what that is. S P E A K. Oops. Dollar sign. F. F A. Six four. Oops. He's going to say a lot more. Oops. I put spreck. <laughs> Speak. Dollar sign. F A. Six four. Hello, I am the robotics educational robot. <laughs> That's better. So we'll start a program with, you know, what he just said. And you could actually put a remark here, what you know, what he's saying there. But we'll keep her short. Uh, so thirty. Um, let's have him move his head. And this this is actually going to be kind of cool, uh, because uh, all we have to do according to the instructions and uh, instructions this gives you all his little commands but here's some of his movements in here so his head can rotate negative 165 to positive 162 now you don't put a positive there but so let's just say we'll move it 20 you can test this out actually in real time so a head uh, equals 20 and let's see what happens. Pretty cool. And you can go head equals 30. And it goes to 30. Now you can go back to the middle. H -E head equals 0. And that will send it back home. See? Isn't that cool? Uh, and then if you go head, head oops. It equals, let's say, minus 30. It's going to go the other way. So you can see here, you can quickly, you can build a program to do this stuff. Head equals 10. Oh, wait, uh, 0, right? Now he's back to 0. i got two zeros there, but two zeros still equals 0. So in our main program here, in line 30, we can put... Head, ha! Head equals 30, and then 30, and then line 40. Head equals minus 30, so it's going to go back the other way, and then 50. Head equals zero, which means the head will return to home. So we're going to go plus 30, minus 30. Then back home, and let's have him say something. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I think you're cute. Give me a hug. Mm, I don't know. Uh, oh, here's a good one. I think I make an excellent pet. I'm even house trained. So we'll say speak. So line 60 will be speak. Uh, dollar sign. Uh, do, 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 do. What was that again? Here it is. F D B A. F D B A. Whoops, right there was an F D B A. Uh, and then 70 will be end, because that is our end of our program. Now, anyway, it seems like a real simple program, but you know, when you're just first starting out, you gotta do this little stuff stuff first before you get into the complex stuff, right? <laughs> um, and we can test what that speak is, S P E A K. Oops, let's go back to the screen. S P E A K. Uh, dollar sign F D B A F D B A. I think I make an excellent pet. I live in Australia. <laughs> so that's kind of cool, right? Um, yeah, but just to show you, like some of the stuff you can do, you know, so he doesn't roll off the table. I'm just gonna maybe move his arm a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but let's raise his arm up. So that would be shoulder. And then shoulder is 0 to 159. So I'm, let's just go take shoulder to like 100. S H O U L D E R. Or let's do baby steps. 50. Oops. Did I spell shoulder wrong? S H O U L D E R. H O U L D E R. Shoulder equals uh, 50, right? And I would see that. 
<laughs> his shoulder is coming up. Uh, let's go 100. S H O U L D E R equals 100. So it's coming up. There it is. <laughs> oh, come on, hero. And then you can do like, uh, you got rotate, pivot, extend. So let's extend a little bit. E X T E N D equals. Mm, and the extend goes from 0 to 50. So let's go 25. Let's go halfway there. I forgot how slow this, this thing is, right? <laughs> All right, uh, we got pivot. Let's do 50. P I V -E I O T equals 50. So you get the idea. You can kind of all, you can test all this stuff out. And uh, so let's get everything back to where it was. So pivot equals uh, zero. Oh, wait. Got the OT equals zero. Put that back. Extend. Equals zero. It's going to go back. Is there something to speed this arm up? <laughs> and shoulder D equals zero. Shoulder go home. Good job, hero. Good job. I can't see that because it's facing me. Okay. So now we're going to execute this program, this very simple program. So uh, let's do list. As you can see, there's nothing in there because we didn't actually make a program. So let's copy our little program here. Copy. And then from, and we'll go back to here and hit paste. And TerraTerm has this nice thing where it kind of shows you what it's going to paste over. And it gives you a little review of that. So I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's writing the program. And voila! Uh, we can recall this program, L-I-S-T. And we can race it by hitting scratch. I do that a lot. See how, uh, like, if I make a mistake, you can go in and change a line. Like, if you type 20 and type something new, it'll actually replace just line 20. But I keep this over here because I'm going to be constantly updating and fixing this by and working on it over here. So we're going to go ahead and now run this program. And um, hopefully it runs good, right? So let's type run and see what happens. Enter. Hello, I am Hero Taki, educational robot. Hmm. Just like we programmed. I think I made an excellent pet. I even foul strain. So there you have just a simple program. And we did this, what, about 10 minutes? So, uh, you know, get your hero robot out of the closet, dust them off, and start using them. Uh, tune in next week when we get a little bit deeper into this programming here. And maybe do something a little bit more fun, a little bit more complex. I don't know yet. And uh, until then, stay tuned. Put in the comments if you like these videos. And, uh, you know, if I get a lot of responses, I'll make more of these, you know. And uh, happy programming. <laughs> Have a good night, and please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, I am Hero Taki's Educational Robot. <laughs> Thank you.
I in I A L X L L Pet. I live in Australia.